over here you can see I've got all the basic ground cover in and uh, I'm looking forward to moving on to the next stage which is going to be adding lots of uh, long meadow like static grass to make the area look really wild and bring it to life and add a little bit more definition in the different colours and stuff. Now the only problem with putting static grass down is that you need an electronic static grass applicator. Um, very few of these are available commercially and uh, they are quite expensive. You can also use uh, basically a puffer bottle. Uh, I have one over here. Now this doesn't do a too bad job but it's not brilliant. Basically you just fill it about halfway with grass, maybe a bit less than that. Give it a shake and uh, apply it to your area. Now. I've done that in the back gardens over here and I've also done a couple of sample pieces to give you an idea of what it looks like. Now it's not too bad, but it's not great. You can see it stands up a little bit and it does look like grass, but it's not ideal. I'm not too happy with it. Um, so I wanted to use a, uh, an electronic version basically, partly because also the electronic version will work very well with long fibres. The problem with this little puffer bottle here is it only works well with the short fibres that I've used down here. Um, the longer stuff, I'm not sure it'll work too well. Now that's where these electronic applicators come in. They're much better at that. They do a really effective job. Now, the same company that's made this uh, puffer bottle also makes something called a Grassmaster, which is an electronic applicator. The problem is it costs a hundred pounds or more. And for a basic tool that's just a little bit of electronics, uh, I think that's a bit too much really. I don't really want to pay that. You know, £100 is expensive for a loco, let alone a static grass applicator. So what I've done is I've taken the route that many other people have taken, which is to make my own. Now, there are very various ways of making this. and I'm not going to show you how I made mine, because mine is different to the next person's and the next person's will be different to them. Um, it's basically, they all follow the same principle. It's just a case of what you've got, what you want to spend, and how much time you've got, and how skilled you are. If you Google static grass applicator, you'll find various forum threads and PDFs and instructions on how to make one. That's how I found out the instructions on how to make mine, because I didn't have a clue how to make this. So I just did a bit of research, and I pretty soon, pretty soon found out what I wanted to do. Now there's basically two ways of doing this. You can either make one using a negative ion generator, which is what I've done, or you can make one using an electronic fly swatter. Both, method, both methods are covered quite well on the internet. There's various PDFs and documents that tell you how to do it using various materials and ideas. The only place I could find a negative ion generator was a shop in Australia called Oatly Electronics. Now I ordered one from there. This is the 9 to 12 volt version and it cost me about £20 including postage, which wasn't bad considering it was coming all the way from Australia to the UK. It also arrived in about a week, which I was really impressed with. Now, I've basically wired it in. It's powered by this little 9 volt battery on the back. There's a wire that comes from it, which brings the static electricity and brings that into this grill, which charges up the grass inside the hopper. You open this, uh, this flap off the top, this lid, and you fill this up with grass. Um, if you look here, I've also got this big long wire. Um, this attaches to the baseboard, you know, I've got a nail on the end of it and you bang it into the baseboard and that acts as like an earth or a grounding strip or something, I'm not exactly sure how it works, but you need that anyway in order for it to work. Now mechanically and electronically, this works in exactly the same way as the Grassmaster that you can buy. The Grassmaster is incredibly good, I've seen it used to great effect on a few layouts, but it does cost a lot of money. So here is using the, the Grass Puffer Bottle, does an okay job, it's not brilliant. You can see some of it standing up, but on the whole it's quite flat and matted. Doesn't really look like grass too much. Now over here is what I've done using my applicator bottle. And as you can see, there's an immediate difference already. Look how much that has stood up. Bearing in mind these fibers are very short. They're only two to three mil. So the fact that it's standing up that much is very impressive. Remember, I'll be using much longer fibers on the actual hillside and stuff. This is just stuff for lawns. It does look very, very good. And as I say, if you want to make one, there's plenty of instructions, forum threads and discussions on the internet that show varying ways how to make one. Right, here's the uh, the hopper of the static grass applicator thing. That's just full of grass, and there's a, there's a lid, you just pop the lid on, and there you're ready to uh, apply your grass. <laughs> 